You know, for years, I remember growing up and when I would actually go to public school, you know, we would hear white kids talking about, oh, we got to put on sunscreen to go outside. And I said, sunscreen? I was like, what, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know what certain things were until I got around white folks. Because, you know, first part of my life, and I wasn't going to school, you know, I was already just around my community. So in my community, we didn't wear no sunscreen. I didn't know what no lice was, anything. So I went to school with white folks. So I always wanted to say, why y'all put on sunscreen? What in the world is that? Oh, we get a sunburn. I say, and I couldn't figure out. I say, how does sun burn you? I mean, I'm out in the sun all the time, and it don't burn me. I mean, would it? Whatever. I say, that's y'all. And um, you know, black people used to laugh about that. Oh, y'all got to put on your your sunscreen, huh? And then I thought it was interesting and strange to see black people out here talking about putting on sunscreen. I'm like, no. And you got these dermatologists. Oh, you black people should wear sunscreen. Man, look, I'm a child of the sun. God made me for the sun, all right? But case in point, they had a person that actually filmed white people putting on sunscreen with a UV camera so you could see what they're actually putting on them. Quite interesting. Let's go ahead and roll that. Ah. Oh, this is... This is amazing. Look at this. No way. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God, God. That's this is just. No, that's this is, unbelievable. This, this is. Yo. <laughs> I saw the. And then, wow. That's like, insane. I don't even know. <lacht> oh, das ist gut, man kann sich vor allen Dingen in dieser Kamera auch sehen, ob man das gleich mit sich verteilt. Okay. <lacht> Isn't that something, ladies and gentlemen? They're literally putting on a fake liquid melanin so they could be in the sun. Boy, now we have always heard about them. They, they have the complexion for the protection, but technically we have the complexion for the protection of the sun. This is why you hear them really talking about climate change and you really hear them talking about global warming and all of that. It's because the hotter and hotter the earth get, the more and more the sun is beating down that if they don't have that liquid melanin and it don't last long, it only lasts on what depends on how much they sweat a lot of times. They got to keep reapplying it, reapplying it, and reapplying it. I mean, they were not made for the sun like that. I mean, technically, I mean, that's just genetics. I mean, we were made for the sun, they wasn't. But you notice how they always wanted, you know, us to do all the work because they couldn't be in the sun. And then now they're getting trying to get all the Hispanics to do all the work. You know, people who can take some sun, actually. But it's just quite interesting to me to see this video. But hey, we all kind of knew that a little bit, but just to see it in real time. So thank God, you know, that you are a child of the sun and you can actually be out there. See me, I just get darker. That's it. I turn a different, especially when I get to the African continent. Oh boy, I'm there like about two days and I didn't turn two shades darker real quick. It always happens to me when I'm out there, but I love it. I love it. I love it. But let me know what y'all think about what y'all seen in this video. It's, it's quite interesting. And my, my thing is, if I wasn't a child of the sun, I would just stay out of the sun. I, I mean, I wouldn't be hanging out in the sun like that because I'm like, shoot, I wouldn't want nothing to burn me.